Yeah, I yeah. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Sorry it's been so long since we've uploaded content. We are working to make sure that we bring you content at least three days a week. We want to bring it to you every day of the week. We're getting out of the schedule of the holidays. And we did a lot of work on the powder coating oven, which what I'm gonna do today in this episode is gonna be quite short, but I'm just gonna go over everything that I've done to it since the last vlog, just to show you all how it operates. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually fire it up and again, show you guys how it operates and how well it works, even without the latches on the door. As you can see, we got the insulation in. If you weren't here before, it is the wool insulation, I believe is what it is, or something like that. It's not fiberglass insulation. It's made for heat, 2000 degrees. It's very durable. It's what they use in ovens. You can see how thick it is, and then it just came in these sheets. Now, the roof is just set on there. They don't need to be really attached, and they actually set in these areas pretty good. What I did is I took aluminum heat tape, and I went ahead and taped up everything around it. That way it's all held together. Now, I am considering doing like we did here with the vent, actually covering the whole area with the tape so it's kind of got a bit of protecting so we don't just poke through it or don't just rip some of the uh, insulation off. I've considered doing this. It's gonna take a few rolls of tape to go ahead and do that, but it is some sort of protectant. It won't cost as much as doing it with steel, which would be another 300 or so, or $350 or so to cover the whole outside with steel when this really is, this isn't gonna get hot. Now here's the back of it. Here is the wonder of everything and how I wanna show you guys how it works. So what I did is I wired up the PID controller to this outlet. So basically this outlet does not have power until the PID controller says, hey, you need to have power. So what happens is, is when I plug the oven in with this plug here, you're going to see it's going to turn on, go through its cycle, and then it's going to say it needs to be 100 degrees Celsius. It'll say that right here in green. Up here, it'll say the real temperature. When this real, when the thermostat tells it, hey, it's not that temperature, it's going to kick the power over and it's going to make this outlet become hot. So that means everything that's plugged into it is going to turn on. This is the plug to our solenoid. This is the plug to the blower. All I have to do is turn the propane on. Now I'm going to plug this in right here. But what I'm going to do is I want you to see this because it happens quick. So I plug it in. It registers. It says, yo, you need to be 100. It's definitely not 100. It's only 8. So it kicks the blower on. It opens the solenoid to let the gas through we've got heat. So it's working and it's going to continue running. Even though I have this door open, I'm going to go ahead and slide this door closed. It's still open some at the bottom, so some of the heat is going to escape. But we'll come back here and you'll see it's all the temperatures already went from 8 degrees Celsius and I can change it to Fahrenheit but I know it needs to be 210 degrees Celsius to get to 400 Fahrenheit. But you see how quick it's, it's heating up. And again, that's with the door partially open. See, the door is open here. It's not totally sealed right now, but there's hot air coming out. I mean, it's getting warm in there, as you can tell. 100 degrees Celsius is like 200 degrees, so this is already probably, I think like 30 degrees Celsius is, is I want to say in the range of, in a range of like 80 degrees Fahrenheit or something like that. So it's already pretty hot in there. Almost, probably say 70, 80 degrees, maybe 100 degrees in there already. And you don't feel, none of this metal is getting hot. There's this, even this isn't really getting hot right here. We can let heat out here if we need to. That's just to let the gases out. This metal is getting a little warm because the heat's blowing by it, but it's not hot. Now, if I set this and change it, just so I, I want to show you guys. There's 45, there we go. 43, we'll leave it at 43. See, it's not all the way there, but the thermostat knows that it is. 
and it's holding the heat pretty well. It just doesn't want to give it all the power. See, and it's holding it. The door is open, so it's actually dropping quicker, and it's taking a little bit longer for that burst of heat to get there. That's why it's kicking on and off so quickly. There we go, now it's unplugged. So, there you go. <laughs>